Thank you for joining me for this flow class. Today's flow is going to be focused a lot on our glutes, but we are gonna get a little bit of full body with some core and arms as well. Um, so for this class, we have the option of using two props. I've got my one pound ballet bangles and two pound hand weights. If you don't have any props, that's totally fine. This class is still gonna be a great burn. Um, if you do have props, you can get the ankle weights on now. I wouldn't suggest going too much higher than two or three pounds with the hand weights. Um, the goal here is just to keep it nice and light just for a little bit of added resistance. And as always, take any modifications that you need. I'm gonna give some suggestions through this class of you know, how I'm moving my body, but always take it at your own pace, pull back at any time, drop the props at any time if it becomes too much. Um, and let's get started. We're going to begin on our backs. So you can come all the way down, hug your knees into your chest. If you've got the ankle weights on, that's great. If you are using hand weights, just keep them handy. Let's just start with a deep breath in through our nose and out through your mouth. Taking a few moments here to tune in, notice how you're feeling, notice what you need today. Setting that intention of the energy that you want to bring with you into the rest of the day. On your next exhale, let's draw the forehead up towards your knees. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze, a big hug. And we're gonna bring those knees to tabletop. Hands are gonna come behind your head. We're lifting up just another inch. From here, we're tapping right toes, lifting back to 90, and tapping left toes, lifting back up. We tap and lift, tap and lift. Shoulder blades lifting up off the mat. Your elbows are wide. We go for four, for three, for two, and one. Nice work. Hug your knees into your chest, lower all the way down. If you have your hand weights nearby, grab them now. So we're gonna take knees to 90. Arms are gonna go back overhead. From here, as we exhale, we're curling up out of our head, neck and shoulders, drawing those weights up towards the sky and bringing them down towards our hips, giving a nice little pulse at the top and then lowering down one vertebrae at a time, sending those arms all the way back. So knees staying super steady. At that tabletop, we lift, give a pulse, Lower one vertebrae at a time. Arms go all the way back overhead. We lift, pulse, and lower. We exhale, lift, pulse, and lower. One vertebrae at a time, nice work. Keeping this going. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, you can send those legs out to the high diagonal. Really starting to build some heat. We have three more. Two. Last one. We lift it here, give that pulse and hold, we're pulsing. Reaching for the end of your mat, pulsing shoulders up an inch and down an inch. We have five, four, for three, two, and one. Nice work, hug your knees into your chest. You can drop the weights off to the left side. Extend legs all the way long. We're gonna roll onto the left, coming onto your left forearm. Let's start in a side plank. So stacking your legs or staggering your feet one in front of the other, reaching those right fingertips to the sky. We're lifting out of that left side. So pulling up through the side of your waist, cinching it in. We're gonna lower and lift. Small movements here, dipping the hips, getting into that left oblique. We have four. Three, two, nice work. 
Last one, hold, take a nice deep breath in. And lower yourself onto your left side. So we have a slight bend of that bottom leg, just for stability. You can take your hand in your head or stay propped up on your forearm. I'm gonna take that weight in my right hand. If you don't have a weight, body weight is fine. So we're lifting that top leg to hip height. We're gonna reach that leg back as our arm extends forward. So getting into that right oblique, we reach, reach, reach. And then swing that leg forward like a pendulum, moving through mud as you send that right arm back. We reach, extend the leg back, and arm goes back, leg swings forward. We reach and pull. Reach and pull. If you're ready for a little more, you can focus on that tricep as you extend that arm back, squeezing the tricep. Let's go for three, two, last one here. We extend everything long reach. We pulse up an inch and down an inch, moving arm and leg in unison for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, drop the weight. Coming onto your back, hug your knees into your chest, take a nice deep breath. Feet come flat on the mat, take the soles of your feet together, let your knees fall out wide. Hands are gonna come behind your head, your elbows are wide, chest is open. We're gonna lift out the shoulder blades, looking into your belly button, really getting into our low abs here. We lift, we look into the belly button and lower. Inhale, exhale, lift and inhale, lower. We have eight, seven, for six, five, we pulse in four, three, two, lift and hold here. We pulse up an inch and down an inch. Really small movements for five, four, for three, two, and one. Nice work, extend everything long. Arms go back behind you. Toes out to the bottom of your mat, take a nice deep breath in. And we're gonna roll onto your right side. So you can roll right over, have that weight handy. You can come onto your forearm, pressing yourself up into that side plank. So pulling out of your right side, cinching in through your waist. We're gonna dip the hips and lift. It's really small movements here, using your breath. For five, for four, for three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Give a slight bend in that bottom leg. We're going to take the weight in your left hand, reaching that arm forward at the top corner of your mat as your leg swings all the way back. So you want to feel a little bit of tension here. You want to feel those obliques turn on. And then as you draw that elbow back behind you, Leg swings forward nice and slow like you're moving through mud. <sighs> Using your breath. Let's go for six. Five. Engaging your tricep as you extend that arm back. Last two. Last one. We extend everything long. We pulse up an inch and down an inch. For five, four, for three, two, and one. Nice work, drop the weight, come all the way down, rolling onto your back and hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna take one leg stretch. So both hands come on that right shin. Your left leg goes to the high diagonal. Shoulder blades are lifting up off the mat. Your, your forehead is drawing towards that right knee. As you breathe, we switch and draw that left knee in. Switch and switch. We have eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, 
and one, send both legs long, take your hands behind your head, lift up another inch, we lift and lower 30%, legs glue together, those inner thighs are drawing in, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Knees draw into your chest. Take a nice breath in. And exhale something out. We've got one more to finish this ab sequence. So we're going to curl head, neck, and shoulders up towards your knees. Hands come behind your head. Your elbows are wide. Take your knees to tabletop, but then bring those knees wide. Knees are going to draw towards your elbows on your exhale. And on your inhale, you send your legs long. Exhale, knees draw out towards your elbows and send everything long. Use your breath here. We go in and send long. Go in and send long. Can you lift up another inch out of your shoulder blades? We have four, three, two, Last one, send those legs long, lift up another inch. Can you tap your heels together? Tapping in and out here for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Hug your knees into your chest. Taking your hands behind your thighs, let's rock and roll up to the top. You can cross your feet as you come to the top, stepping back. High plank, holding it here. Plug that belly in, our core is warm. We're gonna lift the right toes in line with your hip. We tap the mat and lift. Tap and lift for five this side. Four, for three, two, and one. Drop your toes, left side. We lift and lower. Keeping that neck in line with your spine, looking at the top of your mat. We have three, two, and one. Drop your knees, we're coming to tabletop. So hands are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Let's start with a cat cow, opening up through your chest, letting that belly sink down on your inhale, and exhale, round it out. Moving through two more with your own breath, we inhale, open it up, and exhale, round. Last one here, meeting in through neutral. So let's start with the glutes. Option for this whole sequence to take it on your forearms if that feels better. We're gonna start with that right leg, send it all the way back and then draw your knee in towards your nose. Send that leg back, draw knee into nose. If you are taking this on your hands, option to take that weight, Extend the arm forward and then row the elbow back. This adds just a little bit more resistance, really engages the core. Let's go for two. Last one here, extend everything long. We pulse that leg up an inch and down an inch. If you have the weight in your hand, pulsing that arm up as well. For five, four, Three, two, and one. You can drop the weight, bring your left hand down to the mat. We tap opposite corners, tapping the right corner, coming up and over, tap the left. Up and over, tap the right. Really focusing on the lift. Getting into the top of your glute here. Nice and controlled though. We have four, three, Looking at the top of your mat. Last one here, we're gonna focus just on the left corner. So opposite corner tap and lift back in through center. We tap and draw in through center. Keeping those shoulders away from your ears. Tapping the left corner, draw that leg back in through center for three, two, and one. Send that leg straight back, flex through your heel. I know this is a lot. 
We're drawing the heel towards the bum, getting into the hamstring and sending that leg long. Draw the heel in and send it long. Option here to take this on your forearms. We go for six, five, nice work. Really flexing through that heel for three, two. We pulse here, hold that knee in at 90, pulsing up an inch and down an inch. Stomping through the ceiling. We have four, three, two, and one. Lower that knee down. We're going to come onto the left forearm. Open yourself up. Right fingertips to the sky. We're going to tap and lift that top leg, lifting to hip height and tapping the mat. Opening up through your hip, core is nice and strong, that belly button is plugging in. Relaxing through your face. We have four, three, two, and one. Hold that leg high, reach the arm overhead. We're gonna draw knee towards your elbow, meeting in center line and send everything long. Draw everything in and send everything long. If you're really looking for a challenge, grab that weight. Draw knee to elbow and send everything long. We have five, four, we pulse in three, two, last one, send everything long. We pulse that leg up an inch and down an inch for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, nice work. Coming back onto hands and knees, let's take one cat cow. Opening up through your chest and exhale, round it out. We're gonna go right in over with the other side. So sending that left leg back. We have the option here to take it on our forearms or to take this on our hands using the weight if you'd like a little bit extra. That leg goes back and then knee draws in. Send leg back, draw knee in. Using your breath, getting nice and big on the inhale and exhale. Cat your back, engage your core. We have four, three, two, and one. Send that leg long. We pulse up an inch and down an inch. Really small movements pointing through your toe. We lift for three, two, and one, keep that leg long, drop your right hand. We tap opposite corners, tapping the left, up and over, tap the right. Nice work. Focusing on the lift, nice and controlled. We have five, four, for three, two, and one, focusing just on that right side. So tapping the right corner, pulling it back in through center. We use that inner thigh to guide the leg over to the right tap and pull back in through center for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep that leg long if you can. Flex through your heel. Heel draws towards your bum. Option here to take this on your forearms and send the leg long. Heel to bum. Send it long. Keep that chest nice and open. Drop any tension you're holding in your shoulders. Let's go for four. I know this is hard. For three. For two. We pulse here. Pull that leg into 90. We pulse up an inch and down an inch. Really nice work. For five. Four. For three. Two. And one, drop that knee. Weight comes in to your left hand, left forearm. We open it up to the left side. Option to take those left fingertips behind your head or up to the ceiling, reaching over, whatever feels best. We're gonna lift and tap. Option here to take this on your hand if that's more comfortable. We go for five, four, for three, two, and one. Send that arm long overhead. We draw knee to elbow, exhale, and send it long. Option here to grab that weight if you want a little bit more of a challenge. 
We go for six, four, for three, two, hold it long, pulsing here, lifting that leg up an inch and down an inch. We're finishing with this. Nice work for three, two, and one. Drop that weight. Come back onto hands and knees. Tuck your toes. Send your hips all the way back. Pedaling out through your heels. Nice work. Let's inhale, right leg high. Knee draws towards your nose. Exhale, cat your back. And inhale, send it back long. Again, knee to nose. Exhale, cat your back. And send it back long. Let's go for three. For two. For one, send it high, pulse that leg up an inch and down an inch. For four, three, two, and one. Drop your toes, pull forward, high plank. Lower yourself all the way to the mat. Hands come to frame your ribs. Let's press up for cobra. Deep breath in, opening up through your chest, and exhale, lower. One more like that, pressing up side of your ribs. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Tucking your toes, pressing back through tabletop. Send your hips high. We inhale, left leg goes up to the sky, three-leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Cat your back and send it high. Exhale, knee to nose. And send it back. Last two. Last one. We hold it high, pulsing up an inch and down an inch. For four. Three, two, and one. Drop your toes, pull forward high plank. Option here from toes or knees. We lower half or all the way. Cobra. And take your knees wide for child's pose. Let's take one breath here. Amazing work. You can take your ankle weights off if you have them on. And if not, just meet us back in a downward dog. Whenever you've got your ankle weights off, we're going to finish with a pigeon stretch. So meeting us here in downward dog. Let's take the right leg high. Draw the right knee towards your right wrist. And set that shin down on the mat. As close to parallel to the front as you can. Folding over that leg. Just taking a nice deep breath in. Totally relaxing through your shoulders. Maybe fluttering your lips as you let the breath go from your mouth. One more deep breath here. We're going to press ourselves back up. Tuck your back toes. Send your hips high for downward dog. And lift up that left leg. Draw your knee towards left wrist. And set that shin down, getting yourself into a pigeon, finding that space in your left glute as you fold over your legs. Taking a nice deep breath in, and exhale out your mouth. Coming back to that intention that you set at the beginning of class, the energy that you want to bring into the rest of your day. And notice how you're feeling now versus 20 minutes ago when we started here together. <sighs> Feel gratitude to yourself for allowing yourself these 20 minutes to move and shift your energy. Let's take one more really deep breath. Feel yourself all the way up. Feel your back ribs expand. And exhale, side out. When you're ready, let's press ourselves up. Swing that right leg around. We're going to come to seated. Take a nice deep breath here together. Let's take those arms wide and up. Nice deep breath in. Feel yourself all the way up. Take your hands through heart center. Exhale. Lock in all that good energy you just created. Amazing work. Thank you for moving with me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you really soon.